Hi everyone. This question was asked in the 16th National Certification Examination. This is a 5 mark question. So let me draw the schematic diagram. A luxury hotel is using a desulfide heater with an efficiency of 70 percentage so I am having a heater desulfide heater the efficiency is 70 percentage so this heater is used for supplying hot water at 60 degrees Celsius from an initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius the hot water requirement is 24,000 liters per day the management is considering to install a specially designed electric heat pump for the specific high water temperature requirement with a heat pump a coefficient of performance of 2.5 so instead of this uh, desulfide heater, the management is thinking of replacing with uh, replacing it with a heat pump of COP 2.5. So if heat pump is used, the same purpose is going to be served. That is, it is going to heat water from 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So now we have to estimate uh, what is the reduction in daily operating cost with heat pump in place in place of the desulfide heater so i have to find what is the cost of this case and what is the cost of this case then i have to subtract both this here i am using diesel the cost of diesel is rupees 50 per liter cost of diesel is rupees 50 per liter here heat pump is used and electricity will be used the cost of the unit uh, cost of the unit is uh, per unit is rupees 10 that is rupees 10 per kilowatt hour diesel <laughs> rupees 50 per liter and the gross calorific value is 9100 kilo calories per liter Since the water is to be heated from 20 degree to 60 degree Celsius, the heat that is absorbed by the water, that is heat absorbed by the water or the heat that is to be supplied by the fuel, heat heat absorbed by the water is equal to m c p delta t so m is 24000 liters per day into cp of water is 1 kilo calories 1 kilo calories per kg degree celsius and mass unit is liters per day and temperature difference is 60 minus 20 so degree celsius if i solve this i will be getting nine six zero 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 so the unit will be kilo calories per day 
so celsius celsius gets cancelled and here it is assumed that 1 liter is equal to 1 kg of water so if you solve this we will be getting the unit as 960000 kilocalories per day or i can write 96 into 10 power 4 kilocalories per day so this is the heat that is absorbed by the water so this heat has to be uh, taken from the combustion heat so i am burning diesel so whatever heat is coming so that heat is used for heating the water and the efficiency is given as 70 percentage so efficiency formula is output by input so this is given as uh, 0 0.7 So what is the input? So for this, uh, some fuel will be supplied for this heater. Some fuel will be supplied. So the energy in the fuel will be the input energy, and output will be the heating effect. That is the thermal energy. So I can write like this: Q divided by the energy in fuel is equal to 0 0.7 so the q value is 96 into 10 power 4 divided by e is equal to 0 0.7 so on solving this we get e is equal to 96 into 10 power 4 into 0 0.7 so this E is the energy in fuel that is mass of the fuel into calorific value. So the mass of the fuel is unknown and the calorific value is given. The calorific value is 9100. So I can write like this. Mass of the fuel is equal to 96 into 10 power 4 into 0 0.7 divided by calorific values 9100 so what is the unit of all this so 96 into 10 power 4 kilo calories per day so this is the unit in the numerator and for the denominator the calorific value unit is kilo calorie per liter so kilocalories kilocalories gets cancelled and the remaining unit will be liters per day if i solve the value i'll be getting the mass of the fuel as 150.7 liters per day the cost of 150.7 liter diesel is rupees 50 into 150.7 so this comes around 7535 rupees so this is the total cost if diesel is used next we have to find what is the cost of electricity if a heat pump is used for the heat pump the cop is given so cop is equal to heating effect divided by electrical power input so COP is given as 
5 and the heating effect is 96 into 10 power 4 kilocalories per day divided by electrical input power so the input uh, so before solving this make sure that the units are balanced so the heating effect is in power denominator should also be in power but if it is in uh, the units of energy both should be having the same units energy energy when you see this our case kilocalories per day it is the unit of energy so I can write electrical energy instead of electrical power I can write what is the electrical energy input so the electrical energy consumed is given by 96 into 10 power 4 kilocalories per day divided by 2.5 basically this uh, electrical energy should be having the units of kilowatt hour but here I am having kilocalories so I have to convert this kilocalories into kilowatt hour we know that 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 860 kilocalories or 1 kilocalorie is equal to 1 by 860 kilowatt hour so instead of kilocalories I have to put 1 by 860 that is equal to 96 into 10 power 4 into 1 by 860 kilo sorry kilowatt hour on solving this we will be getting the input uh, electrical energy as 446.51 kilowatt hour per day we know that the cost of one unit is 1 kilowatt hour unit cost is rupees uh, 10 so this is given in the problem but we are requiring 446.51 kilowatt hour so the cost of electricity for running the heat pump is 446.51 into rupees 10 so this will be giving 4465.1 so this is the cost of electricity so for the first one that is the cost of diesel is 7535 and the cost of electricity is 4465.1 so the savings is savings is cost of diesel minus electricity cost so cost of diesel is 7535 and the cost of the electricity is 4465.1 if you subtract this you will be getting 3069.9 rupees per
per day. So in the sum we have to see whether uh, the reduction in daily operating cost is uh, asked is or uh, the annual savings is asked. So from the problem it, it can be seen that the reduction in daily operating cost only is asked. So this is the reduction in daily operating cost. So this is the reduction in daily operating cost. 